You got this. We're running late. Come on. Got him. Oh, that was graceful. Let's just, let's just help you out, G. Come on. The dog's a little, there you go. The dog's a little fat. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Yo, what's going on, guys? So today is actually Super Bowl Sunday. And I have a photo shoot. It's kind of a secret. You'll figure it out by the end of the video. But today I want to talk to you about how to keep your Instagram grid consistent. From the last video, how to turn 700, uh, 7,000 Instagram followers into whatever that video it got a lot of good feedback and I appreciate all the support on that so I'm going to go ahead and talk about how you can keep bro you see me vlogging over here and you making noises I really hope this my, my cousin a little slow in Spanish we say tamalito <laughs> like he, he just he just he a little sick he a little sick let's just say that I don't know why I helped you I don't know <laughs> <laughs> Hey bro, this song, what does it remind you of? What movie? The other guys. The Hangover, bro. What the heck is wrong with you? Bro, the other guys is a way better movie. Sorry, this was a really bad example. Let's just keep going. You're a fool. All right, dogs. Get off the car. Hi, Nancy. Hi, David. Look at my nephew. Hi, baby. Hi. High five. What's my name? My nephew. While he was growing up, he couldn't say Tio, which is uncle in Spanish. So he just kept saying Titi. So I'm like, yeah, that's right. Titty, baby. Meet my family. Say hi, Ashley. They're taking pictures, but you might do better than me. So yeah, we're going to make it happen. This is my other sister. She's beautiful. My sister's pregnant. And that's my, yeah. that's my cuñado. That's right. <laughs> that's, uh, that's brother-in-law in Spanish. All right, so what are we working on today? <laughs> my idea is pretty much like with the picture and then hold it really close to the camera. Only the picture is going to be in focus and then y'all's hands and then the leading lines to like your body's like holding hands. Does that make sense? No, I, I honestly, so I'm gonna try and get this shot like probably at 5.6 or 7.0 because when you have something so close to the lens, um, it makes it even more shallow. So let's try. <laughs> Another thing to keep in mind is even though you may not have any presets at all, I don't have my presets for sale just yet, but one of the things that I always do is pick a preset because when you have a preset, your contrast, your sliders, your highlights, your shadows, everything is going to be consistent the entire time. If you start off with a preset, you're gonna have a good place to start for all of your other photos. So number one, use a preset, keep the same preset, and then edit from there. And that's gonna set you up for everything to be consistent. Yo, hit me with the preset. <laughs> Just a fun fact, my brother-in-law is also a wedding photographer, and he's like way better than me. And he want my presets. Yeah, I still want the presets. Hey man, $60, all presets, what'd you say? I get the family discount, free, free, free. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, baby Daniel. Hi. Te llamas baby Daniel or Godo? Godo. <laughs> that means fatty in Spanish. <laughs> hey, Robert, let me take pictures of you like them French girls. Jack, I want you to draw me like one of your French girls. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Titanic reference? <laughs> Never mind, let's move on. <laughs> so we're about to go and enjoy the Super Bowl right now. But another thing to keep in mind is pick two colors. Don't get caught up in all these like different colors, black and whites and then grays and yellows. Don't trip out about that. Pick two colors, teal and orange or pink and, you know, green. Just pick two. What's up? When the picture comes out wrong, black and white. <laughs> <laughs> That's another tip for you. Picture comes out wrong, black and white. But when it comes to going ahead and trying to keep like the colors consistent, and everything like that, Pick two colors, preferably things that are on the opposite ends of the color wheel. Those things complement each other pretty well. And trying to adjust that uh, hue slider just enough so that they are matched up all across the board in all the pictures. That's why you see in my example here on my Instagram, you see all these are all in the aqua range or they're all in the orange range. That is just the money maker because I'm moving all the sliders so that they can just match up perfectly. So uh, that's that, let's head inside. Get down bro. What's up? Do you want the thunder? That's right, see that? Westbrook, I ain't mad at you. Kevin, though, you hurt my feelings, bro. Mm. Man, 
we're just killing the food. So before I head back in there, just enjoy some time with the family, the Super Bowl, all that kind of crap, I want to let you know this. Remember how I told you that not all the pictures are going to work with your grid? Not every picture is going to work with your grid. Don't try and force it. We can tell. Don't do it. One thing to keep in mind is this. If you're going to do night photography, stick with night photography for a little bit. And then if you're going to do a lot of stuff, you know, outside during the day at golden hour, then stick with those things. But keep those things consistent because that's really what defines what is going to work well with your grid and what is not going to work well. For example, if you look at my recent grid right now, it's all just night shots and real like urban moody kind of stuff. There was even a moment where I didn't post for like almost a week because I didn't have any pictures that would actually match up with what it was. So. Even then, you're gonna have to be patient if you want your whole grid to look consistent. And finally, you need to look for the same colors even outside. Don't rely solely on being able to change the colors in post. Even if you shoot raw, which by the way, that's another thing, you should be shooting raw as it is so that you can adjust all the exposures and stuff. But make sure that you look for colors that are similar outside so that you won't have as much of an issue whenever you go back into editing and you're like, oh man, I can't change this color. Like changing blue to orange is actually really difficult, but changing like green or yellow to orange is actually a lot easier. So make sure to look for colors that are similar to everything else. But anyway, that is it guys. Please like this video, it truly helps me out and subscribe because that's what the cool kids are doing. And follow me on Instagram at Keyboard King if you wanna see a lot more behind the scenes of stuff that I'm working on. But anyway, that is it and I'll catch you on the flip side.